So right, everyone, it's me against them. Me against six girls. Do you ever walk up to a group of people and you feel like sad, scared, or lonely, or worried? Fearful, anxious? Hi. <laughs> maybe if that was like a big like gang of black black guys, and then maybe you'd be afraid. <laughs> now, but to be honest, do you ever like walk into a group of people? I have. I've walked into groups of people, and you're like, ooh. You, if you're tired, it's upsetting. Like if you're anxious, maybe social anxiety a little bit. But these days, I used to be more like worried. In the past without people like looking at me thinking it happens even more when you're tired or when you're not present but the more you're present in the moment like just breathe feel hear touch smell feel the ground feel your body not thinking like racing or the past and the future the more you're present and you notice little things like that hey little doggy the more you're present the less you're worrying in the now also the more like you're kind of like generally like fatigued tired stressed toxic with bad bad diet you're gonna just have like more like irritation in your emotions and your body too not and your mind easily you're more easy disturbed so what's helped me in my life to get over like anxiety and i used to have like bloody hell i used to have like anxiety for sure I used to like be anxiety, anxious against against school, badly in the evenings, and I used to really suffer in school, sad, lonely, anxious, severely, like sad, lonely, and anxious in school, very insecure, just so alone. It was a really sad, horrible time in my life in school. Outside of school, I had a lot of friends, but then come evening time, I'd be really worried and sad again, feel the bad emotions. Woo. I can feel them a little bit looking back, talking now. But, you know, you have to process your emotions and wounds from the past. You have to be able to think or talk about your past, the pain. Otherwise, you haven't fully integrated it. So what's happened in my life is I've been able to, like, think and remember in my mind and let out some tears. Traveling on the bus in Malaysia, I use it as, some he as a healing time sometimes to be present and to let out the pain and to cry a little bit some tears not like crying like crazy but just a few little tears because I think about some I try to think about some of my saddest memories I think it's very important it's 100% important everybody to, to let out the pain and to, from the past to integrate your experiences otherwise it's like a shadow the shadow self is like following you it's unprocessed emotions and energy blocked Stuffed in, avoided, distracted, and suppressed. That's the three things I like to talk about. That's what happens. We avoid, suppress, and distract ourselves from our emotions and our experiences and our past. We're afraid to talk about it. We're unwilling. We don't want to face the pain. But this distraction, avoidance, and suppression of our emotions is what causes like deep, long-term uh, trouble in our life where we just can't like function properly and we suffer and we can't respond intelligently or wisely or from our heart to a situation now. So we have to be able to think, remember, feel, or, or even talk about it, if we wish to talk about it, about certain situations that happen to us, at least to come to terms with it ourselves in our own inner talk. That's what you gotta do, everyone. It's called integration, it's called healing. So I highly encourage you to be able to do that. So yeah, I, I had all this stuff happen and uh, I let, I, let, I let go of all that stuff simply by understanding it with my heart, seeing the perfection and everything and the divine perfection and everything's meant to be and it taught me and expanded me and led me, led me to become who I am. And I just stopped thinking a whole lot of anxious thoughts. Like my mind was causing me like, after school, um, then I had loads of anxiety still anyway because I was just thinking loads of like anxious thoughts with the future being bad, like being a negative experience. Like why on earth was, I, was my mind thinking all this stuff? just because of the conditioning growing up in this society. So anyway, I just stopped thinking all that sort of stuff. I became deeply present. I started living a life more like meditation, like, you know, smell, touch, feel, hear, see, being present in the moment. And that's how you let go of the t crazy excessive thinking and you observe your mind in the present moment. That's another thing you see in the moment and observe. 
you observe your mind and then you realize you're not that you're not your mind you're your you're the observer the witness the presence the silent watcher and you're just a silent little awareness and then then you realize oh my god like my mind is such like a troublemaker it's such a little chatterbox but it's just like a program like a tape it's like it's like a tape you've been recorded onto by the media and your life's experiences in this like wild world and then you don't have to take your, your thoughts so seriously. You don't have to think you are them. And you just like think a better thought, a more sane thought, instead of like the crazy tape programming on your mind. Like the tape recorder, like the record button, you know? You record and some, think something new. Something more authentic and original to your heart and to yourself. And that's what happens. And that's what you do. And that's how I let go of my anxiety and my, my sadness, my fear, my suffering, my loneliness. Little by little. But to be honest, it wasn't little by little. It was like rapid. It was almost instantaneous. I started living in the moment. Like, boink, right now, present. You're looking at your phone or your computer. And you have a surroundings. Sorry for the noise. That's just life, everyone. Life is always doing stuff like this. Of course I can plan videos better. But that's just the way it is. I'm inspired to make it now. And I, I'm just out of my place where I can make a quiet video. So sorry. So you just got to roll with the punches with a positive attitude. Respond good. It's not what happens, it's how you respond. Use everything as an opportunity. Respond good. That simple language, how to do it. Life is always going to throw you hiccups. You have to choose to respond good. As an opportunity to expand yourself to who you are. Life is an expression of who you are and who you are becoming. So, so you can be afraid of a group, but why? You have to ask yourself like self-reflection, like why? Why, why are you like worried what other people think of you? Because you want to be accepted and loved. You don't want to be rejected. It hurts to be rejected in your past. But you gotta love yourself and accept yourself instead of looking for love and acceptance from other people. Love yourself, accept yourself 100%. And, and stop caring what other people think. Okay, you just live from your heart with integrity and live your truth. Simple as that. If you don't do that, you're going to be sad and depressed. And if you want to be happy, I saw today, then live, um, live your spiritual calling. Like do your live your inspiration and truth, and be be good to speak and do good to you and the world. If you're not going to like be of service to yourself and others in a loving way of some kind, some fashion, you're going to be unhappy. <laughs> Everyone's super noisy. Sorry about that. I'll end the video, but I hope you have a lovely day and I hope this video helped. I'm just a simple person. I'm nothing special, more special than anyone. We're all special. Hope you enjoyed the video. Here in Thailand, I've enjoyed, I haven't, this video has been an inspiration to me and I just want to share my inspiration, like with no fake stuff, nothing, nothing weird, no fake, no pretending nothing I just want to be simple and as true as simple and authentic and genuine as possible and in this video it's been 100% raw 100% real that's just the way I want it to be thanks for listening so I've enjoyed expressing myself I hope it's helped and done good to the world and to you hope you have a nice day and be present and otherwise thanks for everyone feel welcome to like share subscribe support my life all the sort of stuff and uh, one to one coaching on my website below check out my links below I have a herb shop it really helps me in my life so like I, if you want to have more or less anxiety eat better food raw veganism raw food vegan vegetarian just improve your diet get more nutrients and less toxins simple as that more nutrients less toxins it really help your social anxiety. People have no idea sometimes what they eat affects them emotionally or mentally. For me, that was a massive changing factor in my life, as well as being present and being aware of my thoughts. I started eating more vegan, veg more vegan and raw food. Massive. So everyone, today I had some herbs, like some of my herbs from my herb shop, and so other stuff I bought wasn't from my herb shop, and it just made me feel really good before the video, so helped me to be inspired. So anyway, check out my links below. Anyway, get some things from my shop. I have a recommended thing as well, like a starting recommendation list. 
and uh, for one-to-one -one work with me to help you in your life. I love to help people. Please help. Please help me help you. <laughs> ah, moment to breathe and be present. Bye, everyone. Love you. Thanks for everything. Take care. Have a nice day.